All right. What's bewaring baking boxers? Welcome back to episode 11 of this streamer podcast bakery secret streamer podcast bakery podcast. Oh, that's this. How's everyone doing today? I'm, I'm doing good. That's good. I'm doing okay. You know, actually, we now have a first. Technically, Jacob got the intro because he said, all right, when I clicked record. Oh, I like that. It's shaking new. up the formula. Yeah, Always got to mix things up here. True. We gotta make sure that we gotta we gotta keep those fans always guessing what we're gonna do next. Exactly, they'll never know. Weekly podcast episodes. I'm doing decent. How are you, Liam? I'm I'm going crazy. Insane. Yes, Whew. because I'm about to share the biggest piece of news ever, guys. We started a podcast that we did, but but not this one. If 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 our loyal fan will recall episode one where we talked about how this is a secret podcast as a bit because we kept talking about making a podcast, so we just went ahead and did it, and we're gonna keep doing it until they like find out. But then we then we actually went and like did the did the real one, so now that's being run at the same time as the secret one. Yeah, it's, it's podcastception. Or in two podcasts. Sort of. Yeah, at once. it's funny because we were the ones that started the podcast minus one other person. <laughs> so it's almost the exact same. We even had similar topics. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just used a topic from last episode yeah, in that you... new episode because why not? Yeah, you just completely reuse Theseus's ship. We already have so much trouble coming up with topics sometimes i feel like we're just gonna be reusing a lot of topics between both it's part of it just things. because me and jacob don't actually think of topics for the most part my topics come up on the fly guys my I'm back sorry. hurts my back hurts so much that's fair that's fair listen i get some sometimes i have two today oh cool, cool. yeah my back is also a bit sore today <laughs> Hey. We did a lot of stuff yesterday. That's true. We played volleyball in quotations yesterday. Oh, true. Technically two days. No, it's not technically two days yet. That was a lot of fun, dude. Volleyball is awesome. I want to get, like, actually decent at it and, like, play it more. Because it's a lot of fun. I agree. I would as well. I did not like the walls. The walls sucked. Yeah, the yeah. walls, the walls not... made it a bit wacky. Like, oh, yeah. oh, anytime it would have hit the wall, it would have been out. But instead, yeah. it, like, just ricocheted in a way that the people didn't get to play a lot of the time. Yeah, next next time we gotta find, like, like a court with the walls being much farther away from the actual play space. Yeah. That would be yeah. a lot better. Like, we, I don't even know where to begin looking for that. Uh, I don't know. There are places. There are other gyms somewhere yeah um, surely i know there's some like out i, I know we're not like an here in antarctica or... oops sorry i just oh, i just doxed, fuck, it. You doxed we'll us again. Edit that part out remember when you doxed us in the uh the previous episode you got doxed twice Jacob yeah. actually doxed first and then i doxed second oh you did yeah i had yeah. to put two explosion sound effects i thought it was the other way around I did too, but then I heard it Based. when I was editing. Wait, so I was wrong! No, I was right! I apologized because I, before it, I said, okay, Jacob's gonna be the first one to dox. He, I said himself, technically. Yeah. And, and that is true. You technically did. But I, I but then after the recording, <laughs> I thought Liam did it, so I apologized. So I rescind my apology. You, it's all good. That's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, in general. What happens, happens. Do we wanna... still, it's still such a new podcast. There's still uh, yeah. so much that it can be formed into, depending on what happens. Yeah, because I feel like everybody else's vision of that. I, I think this podcast episode is going to be a lot of talking about that podcast. Which I, I kind of like, because we talked about how the meta-narrative of talking about the podcast on that episode of the podcast. 
Oh my god, yeah, it's weird. But now we're actually Plus, doing the it. Th the thing we did for, like, the footage of the podcast isn't going to be something, probably isn't going to be the thing we do next time, because yeah. not everyone has that game. But are we going to, like, slip into the format of, like, getting everyone to play a game every time? No, that... I, I don't feel like it, because there's going to be, like, a very varying number of people. I don't think... No, I don't think we're going to get people to play a game. There might just be, like, some random, like, setup made. Not everyone has like a game, nor I don't think people are going to be willing to just sit in there for an hour. Yeah, and not well, everybody I mean... can play a game and like also talk. Mm. Yeah. Like, I can think of some of the most enthusiastic people of being on there will not be able to do that. Agreed. So we'll have to find well, some other medium. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we had yeah VR in, chat in, in FNAF. We had all of our characters just lined up on a couch FNAF, for the whole video, Final and that was Fantasy. funny. No, yeah, I really like that. Bit. Well, uh, the F is for Final. The N is it's for FNAF Fantasy. N in Final. A is for the A in Final. And the <laughs> F is for Fantasy. <laughs> oh. no, I never, I never knew about that. that. For all you FNAF heads out there, for all you Thank gamers you for... out there. Thank you for enlightening us. But only the real gamer. Cut off our audience. What do you mean? Cut what do you mean? Off? Uh, you know, there might be some mobile gamers who listen to this. Well, they can come back once they've made it in the real gaming world. And finally appreciate this podcast for what it really is you know like gaming they're not podcast. really getting the full experience because they just don't have a complete understanding of our rhetoric you know yeah so what are the logistics of that other podcast because the way it sounded like other people we all there's like a disconnect with what we are thinking about and what other people want to do i am very confused because I there's a lot of people in that podcast. Yeah, I think a lot of people want to be a part of it. So, and it I, seemed... I had the idea to just, like, rotate people out. But then, apparently, Jacob, you said, like, I said instead it... we just say whoever wants to be in it, be in it. So and if like... there's too many people, we split it into just two groups that both record an episode at the same time. It's a, it, yeah, I see, like... My thought is, like, if you rotate people out, like, there might be some people who really want to do it and some people who just, like, are kind of, like, meh about it. Well, I was thinking, like, if someone doesn't want to do it, then they just don't do it and the next person just comes on in. Like, I don't think it has to be, like, yeah. super rigid. And I think right now, for the most part, everybody wants to do it. Yeah. yeah. But, like, so I, I guess we can just see if people want to do the rotation or just record two two or three different episodes at once or well, so will it be the four of us and other people or are we swapping out yeah because there's well, some confusion like with like other another, people another like thing i think i'm thinking about is like there has to be like one person who's like in every episode to act like the kind of host figure you know yeah. otherwise it just kind of like i would feel like in my opinion it would kind of seem like unstructured because mm -hmm. we just be well, random right. people are we making that podcast for other people or are we just doing it for ourselves uh well i here's the thing either option i don't want to do it like completely swapping out everybody because mm. i one i wouldn't watch that and i don't want to be like i don't want to make that and also yeah. i don't trust completely like Every t like, I think at one point some people might try to record like a three-hour podcast episode. Yeah, would that be bad? Yeah, and also like the file size, sending that to you, and you would have to go through all of it and listen to it and edit it, and then you would have to upload it. Or well, that, I just the goal is to just have the channel where they tell me the things they need me to edit. Yeah, but but yeah, not, I still have yeah. to look for them. I we can just. I think well, I trust people a bit more than you. We can't just say, like, cap out an hour, or an, at an hour or so, and I trust people will do that. I don't think they'll just be malicious about it. Maybe. We're friends. But even then, like, it, well, it's not the malicious. It's like, sometimes you think, oh, this is funny. And then you do it, and you don't realize that it's, like, 
a slight well, we'll problem. Just, we'll just ask not to do that. But then it's also like fully like consistency because I think there needs to be some consistency. I don't know. It, it sounds like we're making this to like actually make like a podcast for like other people to watch but like well, uh, here's the thing i want to be able to watch it potentially and if we do it like the way like the super chaos i'm not watching that yeah hmm. i guess we can also we should also see what other people have to say because we're just three of the people in the whole group but yeah we'll see I mean, maybe maybe episode two can be all of us talking about how to structure the podcast. I think we should do that beforehand. <laughs> we came up with the name of the podcast in the podcast. Well, yeah, we can do that. That's funny. Well, that, that that's a that's like that's a funny bit. But we can't talk about how we're going to do the like the entire thing. The entire thing. Like that's why we didn't talk about. I the think sex that's also. Awesome. Well, I, I don't know. I think you guys are thinking too far into this. I think you're not thinking enough. Because, I like, how are we going to structure, if they could talk about how to structure the podcast if we don't know how to structure it already? What, yeah. Are we going to have all 20, 10, well, 10 people in there talking about that? Well, we can either do the rotation or make multiple episodes at once. But, like, how would that work as well? What do you mean? Oh, is, is the multiple episodes just everybody recording something or, like, different groups of people recording things? That's what Jacob said. Well, I think there does need to be some consistency. And, like, they also don't know, the like, any structure or anything. Like, that's why we'd have to decide beforehand. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I, it'd feel bad, like, if certain people were in all the time while other people rotated out. I don't think people would be happy with that. Yeah, but also scheduling-wise, some people won't be able to always do it. Like, some people need to go go early, don't have very compatible schedules. Yeah. And so they're going to be left out by virtue of, like, their schedules. Hmm. So what do you suggest? Well, that's also why I think... I do think rotating out to a degree is good, but, like, I think there should be some consistency with, like... Maybe, like, one or two people, like, are always the same, like I'm saying. Like, just, like, a host figure. But I feel like multiple people would want to be the ones to stay in, you know? Well, How do we decide who gets to be the one to stay in and who has to rotate out? I'm not saying there's one person. I'm So us four, the people that started it? Yeah. yeah. Let's say, like, there's one or two of us each episode that is the host figure, and we rotate out as well. And honestly, yeah. there's maybe some weeks where other people are not very available, and so we'll just mm. do an episode by our... We don't always need people with us all the time. Because it's also a nice thing for, like, us four get together and do talk, talk. Like, that's what I like about this. We spend, like, yeah. an hour to talk. And, like, at times, maybe we can just bring another fifth person on. Oh, hmm. We'll see. I don't know. It, it feels like so many people want to do it, though. Yeah, but I also think there's, like, varying abilities, too. And, like like does because some people really do want to do it but then also they want to do things that are also very invasive and it sounds like other people won't get to do as much yeah and so like if they have like sections one will need to work on those beforehand and like workshop what that is we can't just say oh you have like a section okay we'll do it and then they like say it on thing and it's like oh this is kind of bad <laughs> yeah if like people want to do like certain bits you, you kind of have to I think we might have to plan them out beforehand because like, I don't know if everyone would be, not everyone might be like comfortable or not with doing like something random, something along those lines. So I'm thinking at least, I don't know. I'll see it when I believe it. Okay. Well, Shout out to our po other podcast. We won't tell you the name, but go find it. Bro. This is your secret podcast to find. <clears throat> Anyways, I saw the new Spider-Verse movie today. Ooh. That was very good. Dude, the animation in that movie goes so, so hard. 
like like the first one like have you guys seen the movie yeah i saw no. the first one i haven't seen the second oh i haven't seen the, the second first one's one. animation was crazy and it was awesome and this one goes even crazier and the animation's even better mm -hmm. i love animation i love animation so much it's pretty cool. if i could like grow up again i'd like just like really learn art let's go into that but you know as a career though because it sucks yeah sort of but good animation is so underappreciated and the story in this film was also like fantastic but like the animation cool there's so many like different styles that all just get like put together because it's like a multiverse oh very good <laughs> Yeah, I've I mean I've heard only great things about that film. I probably won't see it t see it till it comes out on streaming platforms. Really? Yeah, yep. same here. Mm. All right. I'm not <sighs> I'm not like a movie theater person and I don't really have like I don't want to just go to the movies right now I and might. watch it. I I would go to it, but like I don't really have like other people like really see it besides like the like the friend group and i don't know if i would want to go like just by myself you know i'll see it with you i also don't know what my schedule is for okay that's another problem it's a little problematic <gasps> you could probably <clears throat> see like a night showing probably because normally you get off like what six ish, six ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably find time, eventually. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. It was a good movie. True. <laughs> Guys, do you think we'll live to start? seeing people like start living in space do you think that's within our lifetime hmm. or are we still a little too potentially early? i i don't really think so maybe like maybe a person or two that are very rich but we still don't have like we're nowhere close to technology that allows us to have habitable uh habitable areas on other planets like maybe there could be a case for people living on like a space station or something but that mm -hmm. would still be very that's still a very big if from what i can see yeah all right all right yeah it, it still seems pretty far away which it's leads still... into my oh sorry you go yeah i i feel like i know at this point they're like some people like because of they're just like testing it out, you know, like, like they're like a few people in space stations, but that's kind of their job, yeah, more that's or less. Unreal, and they're not really living there per se. So, yeah, they're they're like you know performing like government research and all yeah. that. But like I feel like when it does happen, it'll be like a very limited thing, probably like the first like decade or so of it being in existence. Mm -hmm. You know, right, right, all right. Now that That's leads my thought, in, at least. That leads into my second sneakier question, which is, are you happy that you're born in this tier time period, or would you have chosen to be born in another past or future? Well, I don't know. Like, are, you, are you happy to be uh, living in the 21st century? You have like, a little bias here, because I don't know what the future holds, so... I can't say if I would prefer to be there because the world could be dead. But I also, I definitely don't want to go to the past because I was just doing work for my history class and I was reading about it. I'm like, oh my God, this was absolutely terrible just like 200 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, the past is like not that good. The past is very bad. I see. And even would you... Mm -hmm. Sorry, you got it. I keep cutting you off. Even like the more recent past, like 1900s, 20th century, I don't, that, that's no. Because like that's where all the really big wars have been and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of like yeah. terrible health services, yeah, like, like lead poisoning, radiation, um, 
Ooh, I should talk about that later. I need to remember that. Uh, radiation and like also racism even worse than yeah i'm not a right. fan of that right yeah no history was extremely terrible because like prejudice was just like oh you don't like my opinion well i'm within my bounds to kill you mm. that's like ancient history though it does definitely suck that's like and also on the lines of like history. I didn't want to say that. Right, let's be honest. Let's not sugarcoat it. That's like at least the 60s and some places earlier and later. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's prejudice is extremely bad when it comes to like earlier centuries. And like like you're talking about like healthcare. If if you go like 2 centuries back, it's like more like 3, like 1700 like 1600s it was practically like non-existent like the the modern medical marvels we have today was just not there they weren't even thought about like they did I, not I, know like i have to i have to i have to look real quick but like okay hmm. okay okay it was okay because I was, I was just quickly looking up, like, what time period bacteria was discovered in. Yeah. That's, like, late, late, late 1675. Mm -hmm. That's, uh. that's, like, a whole, like, several centuries since, like, you know, the entirety of the bubonic plague and them not knowing anything about bacteria. Yeah. Papers. All right, I catch your drift. The past sucked. Would you take the risk, if you could, to be born in the future to see if it's better? That's a good question. Because you don't know what it holds. My personal answer is no, because... I don't see any. I don't like see any reason to leave here, and also, it may not be better. It could be better. I think right now is fine, and th right now right. I can make the future better. Fair. That's true. That's a good mindset. All right. Very cool. What's your opinions on that, Liam? I don't actually know. It's kind of why I asked. Just mm -hmm. popped in my head. I definitely want to say the past. The past is the worst, and I would probably not be happy if I was in an earlier time period. Uh, I don't know about the future. It's scary. I want. I hope things get better. They also could be worse. Mm -hmm. I also just realized I didn't ever actually answer the question. That's true. It was more just talking about like. It was more like a a way. To ask about the future and past and stuff a bit, but mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to answer it, you can. Uh, because I'm trying to think. Uh, the past sucks, <laughs> but like I feel like just on how I am, well, actually no. I don't know if I would risk the future. You know, it just it just doesn't seem like something I would do. You wouldn't risk it all for some of that future, see. Bro. <laughs> that was unnecessary. I uh, I wish I hadn't heard that. <laughs> I'll edit it out. You don't no, no, it's fine because we it's all genuine reactions here. I I'm I'm just saying I wish I hadn't heard that. <laughs> don't sexualize amorphous concepts. <laughs> I'll make them amorphous. What does that even mean? That doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying words. I am saying words. Does anything we say mean anything? You know, Your face. Speaking of the past being terrible, have I told you guys about the foot machine, foot x-ray machines? What? No. So no. I would like to hear about this because I'm awesome. I, I, I've been an avid, avid x-ray enjoyer. Let's say you're in the 30s 
and you're out taking your young son to get their shoes bought. You don't know what shoe size they are, so how would you get to know their shoe size? Well, my dear, it's simple. You put it in the x-ray machine. That's right. <laughs> Whenever people went to go get shoes and check their size, they would put their feet in the x-ray machine, and it would tell them their size. They would put on, try the shoes, and get x-rays. Some people, they would get, like, six to ten x-rays a year, ignoring doctor x-rays and everything. Oh my, oh my god. For those of you that don't know, x-rays are radiation. Getting too many x-rays is bad for you. So there were people, oh. x-ray salesmen, or, like, there are people, salesmen, that had to specifically sell these um, x-ray machines to different uh, companies. And also, these machines, it took, like, a decade to get rid of them, even though the, the effects were known and bad. Because uh, the companies that bought them, they were trying, they're denying that there was anything wrong with them. Blatantly lying, putting fake research studies that said they were good. And just doing everything, they a bunch of scummy stuff. So, there were salesmen that had to sell these things and three different salesmen i don't know any of their names but they all developed unique dis like conditions due to the exposure of x-ray that nobody has ever seen before oh my god yikes that's, that's awful it's terrible uh some of the models were so bad that like they can couldn't be displayed in museums because their uh, ambient x-rays and like radiation was too much for the people that had to work around them jeez i know happy subject i i remember don't get exposed to x-ray radiation too much true oh okay okay, okay. you know on that yeah. happy topic, I have a, a little question. Guys, what's the meaning of a good life? A good life? Yeah. I don't know. Um, well, it's a rather personal question because meaning is assigned by the person. That's true. Mean something only means something if you decide it does. I'm trying to dox your emotions. Um, a couple weeks ago, I would have said to live a, a meaningful life would be to like do good in the world or or make it so like the world is better off because of you. But now I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I, I don't know. Like that was always my mindset. Like I need to make sure I make the world better in some way to like live meaningfully. Which first makes sense. But now that I really think about it, I don't know where it came from that I have to improve some aspect about the entire world to justify my own existence. Oh yeah, that's kind of a toxic mindset. I I really shouldn't have to no one should have to justify themselves living to the world. It should be okay to just live. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I still want to do good and make the world a better place, but I also wish people didn't feel like they had to, like, they had to do that to justify their lives. Yeah. I don't know. Do we want to get, like, really deep into this? I'm down for it. We have 30 minutes to kill. So yeah, I, I used know. to be religious. Oh. Ooh. And then eventually, sort of. I mean, my mom told me I was, and I said, okay. And I never really thought about it that much. And the second I started, thought I thought it, the second I started thinking about it, I was like, yeah, I don't really think this is true. I told my mom, and she was like, whatever, you still got to go to church. So I kept going to the church anyways, but like, <laughs> you know, and then that's kind of hard, not being religious, really. Because the thing about religion is it kind of gives you purpose. Like, 
for Christianity, which I, I was a Christian, there's God's plan. That's the purpose of life. You follow these things to that. That's what you do. Yeah, Drake told the second me. I started, that's, that's the purpose. That's the meaning. The world has been given meaning by someone. And that's the point. And the second I stopped believing that, well, now the world didn't have purpose because there is no one there anymore to like say, this is, this is the purpose of life. This is the purpose of your life. This is the purpose of the world. Mm -hmm. And that's scary. Like I didn't believe in heaven. So I, I had to realize that, oh my God, when I die, I'm just gone. And that's scary. And I had to realize, oh my God, there is no purpose to me. And that's really scary. Like the fact that I'm just, I just have to figure things out myself. I'm kind of alone. Like, obviously, I have friends, but in terms of like purpose and meaning and stuff, none of that is given to me. Like, which kind of feels like, oh, maybe life is meaningless because no, no one made it. It just made itself and it just exists. There's no purpose given to it. It's purposeless, it's meaningless. And that's scary. Mm -hmm. But then the more I think about it, it's like, what even is meaning? Meaning is a concept that people made. Like, we decide what things mean. Life can be meaningless if you decide it is, because there's no one out, at least what I believe, there's no one out there saying that it means something. But if you decide that life is meaningful, that the stuff we still have is profound, then it is meaningful. And every now and then I, like, that's not like a, permanent solution like flex tape every now and then i still get a little existential and scared about like my life and its purpose because like having everything in your hands is freeing but it's also scary because it means you can be wrong it's it's all up to you but like i don't know we decide purpose and i think that's we decide meaning it's kind of up to all of us to decide what things mean and what doesn't Life only means nothing if you decide it means nothing to you. But if you mm -hmm. decide it's meaningful, if you look around and you say, I think this means a lot, even if no one consciously gave it purpose from the beginning, then it means something. I think that's a lot of the reason why... I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to devalue a few people out there who might be religious... I don't want to devalue their beliefs or anything, because like I don't think there's anything wrong with being religious. But I think that's the reason why a lot of people are religious, because if you aren't, then you're on your own. You have to decide all of these things and come to all of these conclusions by yourself, and that's scary and hard. Mm -hmm. If yeah. that makes sense. I, I, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm trying to say in my head, but I'm having a I hard time you really talking about it. Jacob, do you have anything? To go away, go ahead, man. Yeah, I mean, all, all my life I've grown up. Let me see if I can say this right. With people saying that life was given a purpose and realizing that life wasn't given a purpose was very scary and things can feel meaningless. So you got to be able to go past that and understand that it's up to the individual person to give life its own meaning. Uh huh. That's where I stand right now, is what I'm trying to say with that tangent. Jacob, do you have anything on that? Uh, well, I, my, my stance on life as a whole, for the most part, I mean, I was like religious for like a small bit of time too it's kind of fallen off in like recent years though but like aside from the whole religion part my general stance on how i live my life or like what it generally just feeds to be a good life is just like just if you're able to support yourself and just like be happy it doesn't really have to be like i don't feel like in terms of status or like wealth generally linger like as a necessity of what i have to do in my mind that's nice 
But yeah, I guess I didn't actually like completely answer the question of what it means. I liked what you said. I I get what you meant. Uh, I I guess my answer would be, in order to live a meaningful life, you have to be able to, like, understand what life means to you and be able to fulfill that meaning. You whatever just have that to definition assign you that mean. meaning to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I basically agree with that, you know. Uh, similarly to you two, like, I grew up Christian, not really. And I was never like, oh, God. It was like, I have to go to church. I don't like it. And now that I've grown up, I really realize I don't like religion a lot. I, like, I actively dislike it. And not till it be like, oh, I find a religious person. I hate them. It's like taste it's like i find somebody who likes to eat fish i'm like that's so cool i hate fish mm. i actively mm -hmm. do not like the concept of god or high powerful beings or anything because i like to believe that i am in control of my actions and i don't like you know the whole god's plan thing i don't like being oh my life is pre-written out in god's plan or anything like that because i looking at the world do not believe in an all good entity or anything and so i prefer that there is not a powerful entity i prefer to believe that there is not some powerful entity and my stance on religion isn't like oh i do i just i don't engage with it because it doesn't matter to me yeah and so i have a similar idea of like what it means to have a good life it's I mean, doing what you want and enjoying it, that's the main part. And, like, not getting mm -hmm. everything out of it, because that's not what... You can't really do that ever. But just enjoying what you do, living your day-to-day -day life. And sometimes it can be changing the world. Other times it can be helping your friends. You know, it's the small things. Right. Mm -hmm. I like that, too. Very cool. Epic, even. Dude, we're a bunch of philosophers here. We are. We just went from talking about foot x-ray machines to religion and f a good life. <laughs> we're so... Never mind. We're so what? No, it's just... It's, it's cringe. I was about to say, like... Emotes. Who cares about being cringe? No, no, no. no I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm trying no, to I'm actively talk, no, purge no, 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 these things out of my vocabulary. I, I hate cringe. Not that I hate cringe things, but I hate their idea of cringe. Because most cringe is just people being genuine and then being called cringe. No, it was that. not me being that. genuine. It was me being satirical. And I'm like, let's not do this at that moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think people should be more cringe. You know what they like, say? No bet. Being cringe is based. Exactly. I'm cringe. And that is based. <laughs> so true. What do you have next Dude, on thine agenda? You're answering that already. Imagine if, like, all arguments were, like, entered from a perspective of intellectual honesty. Oh. That's impossible. Dude, I've realized that, like, how do I even say this? What, is, what even what even is the point of me saying this? I don't know. I was just gonna say something. That's what this arguments is for. are impossible. Like let's let's. So you know how like people talk about winning or losing an argument. Mm. I feel like that kind of defeats the point of what argumentation should it be like way in the first place. The point is two people are trying to figure out a conclusion, usually what's right or wrong, and they both have an idea about it. And the best way to go about that is for both of them to enter the argument knowing they could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Because if, if they're, both people are entering two sides of an argument, let's say, like, hypothetically, there is, there is a, there's a problem, and there are two different solutions. Only one of them is right, and two different people of two different solutions. The only way for them to actually arrive at a conclusion is for both of them to enter the argument 
knowing there is a chance they could be wrong. Because when you enter an argument just trying, just knowing you're right, and just doing everything you can to convince the other person you're right, nothing ever gets done. Like, none of you are yeah. ever going to falter. <laughs> and that's part of the reason why... What is... But where I was even going with that? That's kind of mostly what I wanted to say. Like, just argumentation is just kind of, like, fucked in a lot of places. Is like, most people do not enter an argument seeking a conclusion. They enter an argument seeking to show the other person why they are right. Yeah. I've kind of realized that more. Like, I've done that a bunch, too, obviously. Mm -hmm. But, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think that's sort of an interesting thing to think about. Yeah. I... And, like, the solution's also hard, because if you're like, all right, I'm going to fix this, and you start entering every single argument from a place of intellectual honesty, that doesn't mean the other person will. So if you enter an argument trying to do your best, knowing that you could be wrong, but the other person enters an argument just trying to convince you that you're wrong, then that person is going to win all of the time. Which is also a hard solution. The only solution is for both people to understand that and then enter an argument like that yeah there's another solution of not entering because i feel like a good 60 to 70 percent of arguments don't need to happen and really don't serve a point just other than conflict or to say i'm right so like, yeah that's, that's true i've also just thought about like realize that a lot of the stuff i argue about isn't even worth arguing about and i should just save it for like the stuff that matters mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I saw something, I think, yesterday. I saw two people talking, and then one of them suddenly out of the blue basically started an argument, and the other person was like, I'm just not even going to get engaged with this, because I don't think it will do anything. And then they just yeah. stopped. I'm like, that's so me. Based. <clears throat> I'm cringe. But that's, that's based. based. Honestly, that should be the new Scout motto. The new podcast motto. True. We'll put it as our channel banner. <laughs> what even is our channel banner? I don't I think we've actually we have a looked banner. at the channel. Do we even have one? I don't think we do. <laughs> That's based. Uh, Meeple Maniac, comment down below what you want the channel banner to be. We might make it that. I, I think we lost Meeple Maniac a long time We're ago. We're getting views. We're getting a view. I, I see you, Meeple Maniac. You don't have to comment if you don't want to, but I see your Zero watch percent time. of those people are actually like, well, no. I'll, no, no. I'll be we I, have I like a watch time. We have a one-hour watch time on all our videos. So unless one of us goons is watching, which I don't think we are. I'm not. Somebody's I'm watching. Not watching. I, talk, I talk the whole thing. I'm not going to re exactly. the whole thing. <laughs> Someone's actually watching them all the way through? Yeah. Like, who? I I'd, I'd say YouTube should tell should like give us that's so that information, but that is such an that is such an yeah. yeah. It's probably Meeple Maniac because the watch time started with their comments. Hmm. Well, we got one fan out there. Yeah. Welcome to the gang, the streamer bakery gang. Although I I uh I was listening back to our podcast episode and I'm like. That wasn't, it wasn't, like, that bad to listen back to. I only listened what, to, like, nine the, minutes of it. The mainstream one? Yeah. Right. Yeah, because... It was pretty... I mean, three of us in that had experience with this stuff already for, like, ten episodes. Yeah, I know. I think, I think he literally said, y you guys are pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he called you pretty good at this because you were so prepared. I was... I... 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 See, like, I was personally trying to act not prepared so we wouldn't catch on. I wasn't. I think it's I fine. wasn't either. My philosophy is everything you do, even if it's a bit, you should try and give your all. I disagree. That's exhausting. But we can agree to disagree. Well, if it is exhausting, but, like, if you have the energy and you're doing a bit, then you should give it your all. Like, I'm doing a bit film, but I'm still, like... I, I followed story structure for it. Yeah. Which is crazy. There is a character arc in this like five to ten minute film. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh yeah, I'm, we're doing a film festival, a film festival of one film. Yeah, I don't have time. Yeah. <clears throat> well, 
I need three more people to be henchmen slash plain victims. Then we can start filming. Yeah. I can't wait, because I'll bring all my random, like, plastic and wooden weaponry and be, like, the perfect, like, stunt Excellent. machine. Excellent. Excellent. It's exactly what I need. I can already tell you're bringing your all, and I appreciate that. You know what this podcast needs? Fortnite? Elevator music. All right. All right. I mean, do we want... Not structured. Like, just, like, just somewhere. In it. It just, it just plays like a little jingle. Maybe. You know? I'll consider it. I'd have to... I beat my dad at chess again, by the Let's way. Let's go. He, also, he resigned again. Because I I destroy I destroyed him so completely. Okay, just wanted to point <laughs> that out. No, that's important. It is very important. That is all. That's all. Okay. Yeah, nice job. Thank you. I try it. Sort of. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that that sounds a little mean, so I'm not gonna say that. Well, I mean, it, it might be true. I, st I stopped trying near the end so I just wanted to get it over with because I had to go record this episode and it was going to be late. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you would have you would have been fine. I was playing a game. Yeah, I see that now. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, a chess master. Elo of 600. Nice. Yeah, that's actually the starting rank master. <laughs> then you go up to okay master, good master, great master, really good master, and then grand master. And then I'm going to be the first level above that. I'm going to be a supreme master. Ooh. Nice. Indeed. Sorry. I gotta, I gotta learn to play. Well, I know how to play. I, I want to learn an instrument to like actually start playing a bunch of music again. On my own. What are you thinking I, of? I don't know. I want something with energy that can play a lot of different things. Probably a wind instrument. I, I tried guitar and I just didn't like it that much. Like obviously I didn't master anything, but I could tell I just didn't like it that much. Yeah. I don't know. Definitely one instrument, though. Yeah. One with punch. Okay, so a brass instrument. Oh. I don't know. You've narrowed yourself to a brass instrument and maybe saxophone with that one. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I didn't like the French horn. I, I just wasn't a fan. Mm -hmm. Trumpet could work. I might suggest trumpet because the fingering system can translate better with you. Yeah. And the armature I mean, is close to the same. I wouldn't make too big of a deal about starting over with a different system, though, because I never. I, I mean, no, I know how to play the French horn, but like. It makes a huge difference. Especially I when know. you're not in like a beginner class. If you're learning something you just completely don't know. Like a woodwind instrument and learning that without knowing anything mm -hmm. will be very difficult. And you will sound like absolute garbage for a long time. I already sound like absolute garbage. No, you'd be like start really, somewhere. really bad. Hmm. But I also want to learn to like actually play music. I never really like learned like all, the whole note system. Like I learned what each note translates to the fingering of my French horn directly. But I never really like completely memorized like what each note actually is on the page that's like i knew the most common notes like yeah i know i know it's bad huh? I, I know i'm just impressed honestly mm -hmm. yeah every now and then they'd scare me by asking play this note and then like like play it play a g and i'm like 
Oh, a G. Is that is that one? Is that one two? <laughs> oh my gosh! Now what? I am I am aware. I I didn't put in enough effort into like music back in high school. Like, it probably wouldn't have been that hard to actually just go and learn all the notes I and the name. Definitely made a joke once that said, "I don't think that person knows all the notes." And now that I I was joking because I didn't think that was even a possibility, but I think that I, well I just learned what everything like sound like and how it translated to the fingerings. <laughs> Oh I, I just God. I wasn't as passionate about it as I as I should have been. I I just felt the start of music, everything I played was pretty boring and I never wanted to practice mm -hmm. and I guess that just formed a bad habit of ignoring oh. a lot of it. I had it that on. habit. I only broke it like senior year. Mm -hmm. And by that time I was like, "Oh, I'm too bad to actually go into music now." No, but I was always into music. I, I, it also didn't help that I just didn't like the French horn that much. That's a hard mm -hmm. instrument. And a lot of your parts yeah. kind of suck ass. You get up beats. Oh, yeah. I, I also have awful range with my mouth. Like, that I did continuously try to practice on. But, like, I, I can never get, like, the pretty high notes. Mm -hmm. I always have trouble, too. Like, every now and then I'd slip. Like, every now and then I'd just, like, mess up on a random easy note just because... I don't know, it, it, I wouldn't make the right contact in the mouthpiece after like four years. I don't know. That happens. I, yeah. Especially like French I'm, horn because it's more than just the mouthpiece. It didn't help for two of those years. I had braces. Mm -hmm. So whenever I pushed the mouthpiece against my mouth, it would start like to hurt my lip a little, which also was a pretty big detriment to like how I played. So I had to readjust. And the mm -hmm. third year when i got the braces off i i had to readjust again to figure out how to play because it was different because the mouthpiece presses against the lips and mm -hmm. i had more space it was a mess yeah. it was a mess of everything yeah braces make playing an instrument hurt yeah i'd like to start over if i could though i don't have as much time since i no longer have a dedicated music class mm -hmm. but i'd still like to try and all that jazz Da, 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 da. That's the lyric. Speaking of jazz, Ooh. um, uh, how about those two Persona trailers that dropped? <laughs> uh, I'm hyped for the Persona Three remake. I am hyped for that one as well. I'm like mid on that one. I think it's cool. I'll probably play it if it's good. Uh, mm -hmm. I do not care at all about the weird one. I never play any of the weird Persona games, except maybe dancing. I'm thinking about playing dancing. I played Strikers. And from that day forth, so I, I, never I don't know how Persona they fumbled Strikers. I like that type of games. I like the Warriors games. I, I'm almost mm -hmm. done with Age of Calamity. I played Hyrule Warriors a bunch. I It was just room after room of the exact and same it's, it's thing. It's the SP system. The SP and the reliance on elemental stuff was so terrible. Because, like, sometimes your party members would just not do anything. They would suck ass. Like, there are parts of the mm -hmm. game in the beginning where you would be fighting things that are weak to, like, nuclear and, like, everything. And you need those weaknesses, so you have to use Joker and his different personas. So, like, Ryuji on and everybody just can't, you can't do anything with them. And then, you like, at one point, I think I ran three healers in me. And then wow. I just stopped playing because it was not worth it. Because I'm like, this isn't even canon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a bit disappointing. Like I'm in the last area and I'm just all too under leveled to beat it. I so I'd have to grind. On a grind. <laughs> it was not a fun experience. It's a bad game. I don't know. This I'm probably not gonna play that other Spin off one, yeah. Music banks, strike the musical bank, and I will listen to that soundtrack. I don't know, I haven't heard any of the Q games, but I their music's probably weird. I should listen to it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of jazz, an artist I like dropped like a pretty like traditionalist jazz song today. What's the artist? Uh Sammy Ray and the Friends. They Ooh. are very good. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see them in person, but they are not touring anywhere near our vicinity. Damn. That's unfortunate. But I think I'll be seeing a concert on next week, Saturday. Or? Uh, I don't want to drop that one because they're local. Oh, okay. Could I'll you at least drop your IP address? Oh, yeah, sure. It's um, Liam, I put it on your computer. Can you tell me what your computer says? Oh, yeah, I see you're totally just taking over my computer right now. How are you oh, doing? no, don't. I, I put that in last night. Don't look at that. Okay. I, uh, I'm, I'm sure installing a Fortnite miner. Game. I love Fortnite. Yeah, well, you won't be playing it. I'm going to have it running always in the background. He's, 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 he's Bitcoining. No, I'm not. So what I'm doing is I'm running Fortnite from your computer onto my computer from your house. Because oh. I, I want to also be able to play Final Fantasy, but I can't, my computer can't handle both those. That's Guys, I made it to Endwalker. You did. I, oh, you're, yeah. You're good. You're, ex you're doing good things. Keep going. You'll I'm, soon I'm, be at the point where you can join us for those raids we say you can't join us for. Let's go! True. I hate being left out. <laughs> That's high. My I'm gum high. breaker's almost level 90. Not the end of Ooh. this week, but next week. So it's mine, plus the levels to make it level 90, because that is the level I'm at. Yeah. Which is 90. I think I'm at 86 right now. Very cool. I'm I'm at like 83 for Dark Knight. I only play tanks. I, I want to get my at least one DPS up, too. You should. I know. But the tanks are just... Cool. Like I've just found my calling. I think you'd like DPS. I know. I, I've played a bit of it. I, I I'm focusing on way too many DPSs at once right now. True. In terms of leveling. Aren't you like, doing uh, like Dragoon and Black Mage? Yeah, and there's also Machinist. That's like partially there. Throw that one away. Don't don't do that one right now. Focus on Dragoon. Your Dragoon's pretty high. Yeah, my Dragoon is, is, is close. It's only, it's only 20 levels away from uh, 90. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have Astrologian, Red Mage, Reaper, and Gunbreaker, but Reaper has been on the back foot. Red Mage also on the back foot. I don't mm -hmm. like Astrologian that much so far. It's kind of bad. Like healing wise, it's very mm -hmm. good buffing people for DPS, but don't really want to play it that much. I'm thinking about trying White Mage after I get my Gunbreaker up. Hmm. Good All luck. Right. Yeah, it'll take time. You know they should make um um. So I I know you guys don't like my idea of a ranged tank. I, I am a I never showed genius. disdain in that opinion. Work? But what about a what about a magic tank? Like a caster tank. No, I agree with that. I agree. That'd be cool. I'd, I'd definitely be down to play that. That's the problem, though. Everybody'd want to play that. But I thought DPS was the most popular class. Not in our friend group. Oh, in our friend group specifically. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's why we all yeah. have a bunch of diverse class. One day, someone else will also pick up healer. <laughs> In the Eon, when our other friend gets to Endwalker content, or the next expansion content, they also play Healer. That's true. They, I don't know, they, they like to do a lot of the other stuff in the game. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know, they're going at their own pace. Yeah. Which means they might not be there for a while. I don't know, once, once I get up there, we can actually like try harder content, like Savages, for... Yeah. Other stuff. 
I'd be down. Although I, I, I know that they're like uber hard. No, you will be company. down because that's how you get the best gear. We will be doing savages at some point. Let's go. I just don't want to do current like the old savages because I don't care. Okay. Like especially like Heaven's Ward, maybe even Stormblood and below. I don't care about like the battle content from those because they're so much worse than N Walker and Shadowbringers. All right, all right, all right. Like I didn't realize I was kind of no minding, no braining until, like as a black mage, I was no braining until Shadowbringers, and then in N Walker, I actually had to think about every duty. And I'm like that. I like that. That's good. I love running I the raids because I have to pay attention and like think. <laughs> It's I not... think, like, the savages from, even in Heaven Words and all that, you really have to think about how you play it. But it feels arbitrary, and I don't like most of the mechanics there. Fair enough. Like, it's, like, a lot of, like, stupid mechanics. It's, there are actual AoEs that matter in, uh, like, and mm -hmm. Walker and Heaven's Word. It's not like, like, I need to pay attention and look at those AoEs and read text. Like, I did not read the cast bar until, like, late into Shadowbringers. Oh. Because I never <laughs> needed to. I was never a class that had to interrupt or do anything to the cast bar. It, it, yeah, I see that. It also took me a while before I had to mess with that, too. Like, I only started paying attention when they were like, oh, I'm using right swing or right impact. And even then, I'm bad at paying attention. But, like, I hate roulettes mm -hmm. because Praetorium and Crystal Tower. It's like they're so boring. Like, I used to run them while, like, looking at Twitter. Yeah, those are the worst. Remember the time we ran them in first person and we had, we had a wipe on World of Darkness? I, I have to come clean. I didn't do the whole thing in first person. You monster. I didn't think you did based on how you were excommunicated from the friend group. But you know the time. It's we had a wipe. Was I no? Was I the only one doing it on the World of Darkness run? Yes. Uh, yes. You I did it a bit one. of it, but then we wiped, and I decided to just put an effort so that didn't happen again. Hey, listen, I was the last one to die. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. We lost to the to the first boss on the World of Darkness raid, bro. Somebody's like, "Oh yeah, they got hit by the AOE because you interacted with a mechanic you don't need to. The hourglass mechanic you don't need to interact with. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. They broke it on me. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm like, yeah, I didn't see it because I was in first person." you should have told just told him you were in first person i did yeah oh you did yeah yeah, yeah someone's like why the hell would you do that to yourself no yeah because i they were like naruto shippuden carried and i'm like believe it then somebody in our alliance said i don't know he died to the hourglass mechanic and i'm like i mean first person i couldn't see it and also you don't need to engage in the mechanic <laughs> that is awesome I love that about Final Fantasy. We just people look at us for our names, and they're like, "Oh my god!" Like oh I, my word. I love me. I I love sitting in like Ulda, then moving, and I have like two people following me, and then I get a tell that says, "Oh my god, I love your show." <laughs> that's that's good. And I've definitely gotten player commendations for being Naruto Shippuden, as you should. It's kind of a carry. Yeah. You know what else carries? What? I don't know. I thought I was going to be able to think of a joke in the time oh. that you answered, but I didn't. Well, I mean, can you or Jacob think of anything else to say as we end off this episode? We're ending it already? At one hour and four minutes? I mean, if you want to keep going, sure. I... Uh, I mean, I'm just surprised. I didn't realize we had gone in that that far in. We're becoming pros. True.
Hold on, I need to mute Discord because I realized I hadn't. So I'm sorry. You guys probably hear that. <laughs> oh, there oh. wasn't much. But now I didn't hear anything. Not you guys, the 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 audience, the uh, for audio listeners. Those Discord notifications are me. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! They're just going. There have only been like four messages. It's it's like that fucking ten hour video of like silence interrupted by random Discord notifications. Yeah. I did this in another episode as well. You actually did. It, only one message came through, and it was Liam sending an image and then i realized uh oh i forgot to turn this discord's notifications off uh, <laughs> that's funny awesome sawsome you know what i need in life fortnite funny socks i don't have any funny socks i love funny socks i once i have money i, I think i have socks that say fuck you i'm your no best fucking grandpa I'm not a grandpa. What? I'm not a grandpa. I just have socks that say best fucking grandpa. Why? Because I saw them at a, a local comic book shop and I said, that's funny. I'll take them. <laughs> that's good. I think I also have shh, I'm gaming socks. Nice. Those are funny because they're on the bottom of the thing. The world le needs less Xboxes and more funny socks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold statement so, uh, that I won't deny. Well, I think we should pack it in. Okay, we should pack it in. We should stop burning the yeah. midnight oil. Either of you have closing remarks? Mm. Don't forget to preheat the oven. And don't forget to preheat the oven. <laughs>